When introducing the digraph WR, be certain that you are not teaching this to kindergarten and first graders. You probably don't even want to teach it to second graders because many of the words are multisyllabic or contain vowel teams that you would not yet have gotten to. When teaching WR, it says R for twisting words. So as you go through each word, ask the students what that word has to do with twisting. For example, if I wrestle you, what does that have to do with twisting? If you get into a wreck, what does that have to do with twisting? If you wring out your bathing suit, what does that have to do with twisting? They should also know, and you should point out on their white card, that WR has a dash after it simply because it can only occur at the beginning of a word. When doing the yellow cards, make sure you are asking the two ways to spell R, and R should be first as it is much more common than WR. Also, be careful that you are modeling for them that WR says R and not R because they didn't get into an R wreck, they got into a wreck. For trace copy cover, they should be saying WR says R for twisting words. And when you do spelling dictation, I would give them words both that begin with an R and a WR. And if you dictate roast, I would ask, how come it's not a WR? And when you dictate wreath, why is that a WR? How come wrinkle is a WR? Why is rat not?